All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate it. We've got the latest update for Tesla's FSD beta 11.3.1. And in this version, there are a couple of changes to the autopilot menu that we didn't get into too much detail in previous drives. Uh, the first of which is basically consolidating autopilot into the three buckets in which it really exists in. And that is the base core component of just traffic aware cruise control. Every car has that, nothing different here. Auto steer beta, which is effectively navigate on autopilot or highway autopilot with limited local roads. And then you have full self-driving beta, which is what you see in the videos. That's both city street as well as highway on the new single stack, okay? And so FSD beta shows you exactly what I've shown you before in previous videos. The auto steer is seemingly the old stack, the old dual stack or the old code for navigate on autopilot. OK, and the distinction here is that in FSD beta mode, single stack, we don't have any options for navigate on autopilot. Right. We have no options for that here in the menu. Right. No speed based lane changes um, other than the fact that we have the um, lane change notification and then the minimal um, sort of lane change uh, for current drive. The profile, if you will, for lane changes is combined with the follow distance in the full self driving profiles. So assertive, average and chill, which means that it'll make more or less speed based lane changes and keep a certain follow distance. So it's all combined into one. And then your lane change notifications come in the form of off, chime, vibrate both and then minimal for current drive. And this is specific to each drive. You have to turn it on for every drive. Would love if it was part of this menu here and it could just say sort of all uh, uh, minimal lane changes, chill, average and assertive, or just get rid of chill altogether and let chill represent minimal lane changes as well. So those are the profile options for FSD beta. When I change this now to auto steer, you see now the, the old menu comes back up for cruise follow distance as well as customize navigate on autopilot. All right. And customize and navigate on autopilot gives you all the options. Enable at the start of every trip, speed based lane changes from disabled, mild, average and Mad Max. Exit the passing lane, require lane change confirmation and lane change notification. Right. So that's the options here for um, navigate on autopilot, the old code. And so what a lot of people are asking about is that, hey, is this the old code? It seems like it's the old code. We're going to take it for a drive really quickly. Not the greatest weather, a little bit of snow happening here. Hopefully uh, FSD beta and slash autopilot does not kick us out. But we'll take it for a drive to compare and contrast. We'll go on the same route, right? Same route, same roads, using both and see how they fare. All right, so let's do that right now. All right, here we go. We're on FSD beta version 11.3.1 using the auto steer slash navigate on autopilot dual stack old code whatever you want to call it mode in the menu item for autopilot this is not the latest and greatest single stack this is using just using a toggle here the old code so i will activate now just to see what happens um, if i can actually get on this on ramp for this highway same visuals here should switch to the navigate on autopilot once we get to i guess the main roads here there we go navigate on autopilot is activated and let's see the similar behaviors what i'm really looking for here is its behavior when the lane widens what happens does it get squirrely does it stay the course are there any changes? The turns are already a little bit more herky-jerky or herky-jerky like we remember, not as smooth as current. Here's the lane super wide now, getting really close to this edge here. Not a good look. Now it kind of centers itself and there's a little bit of a merge coming up here. Traffic is not too bad so far. No turn signal on the merge, which is typical of the single stack code as well needs to get over it's going to make an automatic lane change and like i've posted before it's not going to do that if i don't give it any feedback so it's not true hands-free sort of uh no lane change confirmation see that slight force and it shows the little line telling me what direction it's trying to turn in now it makes the auto lane change shows the old graphics or the same graphics from before 
and it seems pretty much par for the course. It seems exactly the same. Um, I don't feel anything different about it. It doesn't it doesn't make the lane change as smoothly as the FSD beta code does. And I'll stay right here in the slow lane here. Let everybody pass me just so I can see the lane widen. Um, but so far, yeah, this is all I'm seeing. I'm going to bump up just a little bit. Morning rush hour. I don't want to disrupt anyone. Poor weather conditions, but not too poor that it kicks me out, which is great. Hopefully I can get the next pass in before it gets worse and FSD baited. Here we go. There's the behavior starting to fish and the lane line is getting a little bit wonky. So this seems like the same old code and the person behind me does not like that. <laughs> the person behind me did not like that maneuver. So that was a quick test. I'm going to use that as the quick test. Um, I'm actually going to turn around here, make a lane change. Lane changes are not as seamless and smooth. I do feel like it's making a lane change. Now it's trying to go back. Tap to cancel. And the lane widens and it starts to fish around a little bit. So that seems like the same code. So I'm going to stop that here and I'll just loop around and we'll now test it out with FSD beta code and see what the difference is. But so far, it seems like much of the same, much of the old code. Um, just packaged in a new menu item or hidden in a new menu item if you have FSD beta active. We'll be right back after these messages. All right, guys, in order for us to engage this uh, FSD beta, I have to put it in park. FSD beta, confirm. And now it can be in the FSD beta code. Okay, all the new settings are here. And this will be running in FSD beta code. You'll see the visuals change here as well. Visualization is now more detailed. And it's all of what you've seen so far. And let's go from here. Now, because I had to turn around in a different way, I'm going to be coming at this at a different angle, but it all funnels into the same scenario. So I'm going to activate here. New visualization, new path planner, car size path planner. Slows down a lot here. Signals and goes. Already feels a lot smoother already. Again, here's where we came from before. Now we're just approaching it from a different angle. And it's going in. Same merge. A lot smoother. A lot smoother. See this? See the yoke is still and not like turning like that. Lane widens, centers itself nicely and is not fishing and hunting, which is great. And we're off. Same road, same lane merge that it doesn't make a signal for, but it does a better job getting in a little bit. So that was great. It got in a little better versus staying all the way to the end and sort of driving to it until I had no option. Lane change, no hands. See that? No hands needed, no notification, nothing like that. Well, I turned the notification off. It could have notified me just like the other one. The other one had the notification on, but it didn't require me to put my hands on the yoke to make that lane change. That is the difference. That's what makes this single stack version 11.3.1 FSD beta code that much better. I'll bump up to 60 to put it at parity of what we just did. Same weather conditions, same snowy, watery mix. Not great, but FSD beta has not kicked us out yet, which is great. And by kick us out, I mean it sort of disables itself when it detects poor weather. That's what I mean, not kick us out. Staying in the same lanes, much more composed, feeling much more confident in the lane. And then it's going to merge here coming up. I'll put the camera up so we can see if anybody's coming. Not that you can see out this back camera because we still need to fix that. Lane widens, stays right center. Ask for some feedback, but stays right center in the lane, does not fish. It's not fishing. That is the right behavior. Excellent job. Excellent job. I don't want to run into this traffic up here, so I will disengage, but I'll do so the same way. Make the forced lane change here. Smooth, buttery smooth. Gets right in. Cars coming to merge. What's going to happen? Let's see. Does it wait? Wait it, and here's the wide lane again. Look at that. Nice and smooth. Wants to go back now. I'll disable. But that's it. I'll get the camera out of here too because it's distracting me. 
uh, Elon, we need to figure out a situation for this uh, rear camera, especially in weather like this. Not a good look. Even if it's hardware for it's not a good look. All right. So there you have it. The difference between full self-driving beta code, single stack, and what they have now packaged here is auto steer beta, which is effectively the old code, the dual stack, the old uh, navigate on autopilot code with all the different options. Um, it's pretty much the same right now. That could change in future builds, but right now that's what I'm seeing right now. It's the exact same thing as before. So if you want to get that contrast and experience, you can ride around, ride around with uh, navigate on autopilot and get that old experience um, and see how it compares and contrasts to full self driving beta. And I will say it's night and day. Uh, significant improvements coming from the previous build, especially on the highway. Obviously, navigating on autopilot doesn't really work for city streets, meaning it doesn't make those 90 degree right and left turns. And um, it does handle stop signs and traffic lights. I think you still have that option here way at the bottom here. Green light chime, uh, traffic aware cruise control. Um, actually, no, it doesn't have the option. It doesn't have the option for stop sign control. So that's kind of interesting but it still operates the same way. It still should recognize a stop sign and a, and a traffic light. I'm not gonna test that out. If you, want, if you want city streets, just get FSD beta. If you don't wanna pay for FSD beta and you don't want city streets, um, then just get the, the highway enhanced autopilot, which will give you this auto steer beta and that's what you'll get. And it's, it's great on the highways. FSD beta is so much better and maybe they'll merge the two at some point and give you the true FSD beta experience on highway single stack if you have enhanced autopilot we'll see about that we have enhanced auto autopilot on the x so we'll see if that happens in the near future but for now this is what it is let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know if you have any questions about this build uh, and let me know what you thought um, the difference between fsd beta and navigate on autopilot effectively is it is it worth the money let me know in the comments until the next time enjoy your day enjoy your tesla